en quoi Please be seated. Le président, je vous assure. The court is now back in session. Reprise de débat. We will now hear the testimony of the civil party TCCP 187. Court officer, so, could you invite the civil party TCCP 187 into the courtroom? President, the Chamber would like to inform all the parties that we received the request by Ian Sari, E187-1, through his Defence Council, to have his direct presence in the hearing of testimony. Of 14 civil parties. Document par lequel il renonce Including à participer directement à l'audience pour la comparution de 14 parties civiles, 14 parties civiles dont TCCP 187 fait partie. And as Mr. Yensari requests to have his direct presence in the hearing of the testimony of certain civil parties due to his health condition, pour ces raisons, the chamber decides to hear the testimony of the civil party TCCP 187 without the presence of Ian Sari, pursuant to Rule 81, sub Rule 5 of the Internal Rules of the ECCC. Good morning, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Monsieur, comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party, Mr. President, my name is Chao Ni. Ni. Thank you. Question, Question, how old are you, Mr. Chao Ni? Mr. Chao Ni, quel âge avez-vous? Response, Réponse. I am 59 years old. J'ai 59 ans. Question, Question, where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Response, I was born. Réponse. At Phnom Penh Village, Chao Lang Commune, Swai Tong District, Ang Giang Province. It was in Kampuchea Crown. Question: Where is your current address? Question: Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Response: Réponse: I'm living in Kampong Village, Prebat Chon Chum Sap District, Kiribong District. Takai province. Question: What is your father's name? Le village de Kampong. Question: Comment s'appelle votre père? Response: His name is Chao Nun, and my mother's name is Nien King. Nien King. What is your wife's names, and how many children do you have? Question: Comment s'appelle votre épouse, et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. Her name is San Sokong, and we have three children. Thank you, Mr. Chao Ni. As a civil party, you are entitled to make a statement of suffering. And the harms suffered. Dans laquelle vous pouvez décrire les souffrances que vous avez endurées. The harms 
suffered materially, psychologically, matériel, psychologique, or physically, physique, que vous avez subi and la which are the direct result of the crimes committed during the Democratic Campuchia that led to your application to become a civil party in this case. You will be given vous aurez donc la possibilité this opportunity at the conclusion of your testimony if you wish to do so. Comparution, si vous le faire. And we will, of course, tell you when Évidemment, the time is appropriate for such a statement. Litical lawyers pursuant through Rule 91 bis, the trial chamber will la give you the floor first to put questions uh, to this civil party. And the time allocation for the lead co-lawyers as well as for the Les prosecution is one full day session. You may proceed. Lawyer for Civil Party. Mr. President, on behalf of the lead co-lawyers for Civil Party, I'd like to seek your permission that we assigned our Civil Party lawyers to put questions to this Civil Party. President, yes, you may do so. Good morning, Mr. President, your honors. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame. My name is Kong Paul Le. Good morning, Mr. Civil Party. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges, bonjour à tous. Moi, je m'appelle Maître Kong Paul Le. Civil Party, bonjour. good morning. Monsieur. Question, Réponse can you tell bonjour. your full name Question, to the court again? Question, pouvez-vous dire votre nom complet à la cour? Une fois de plus. Response. Réponse. My name is Zhao Ni. Zhao. Question. Ni. Question. Do you prefer me to refer to you as uh, Mr. Chiao Ni by your full name or just a, a, as an uncle? Simplement oncle. Response, please Réponse. refer to my full name. Non, je vous en prie, Thank you. And how are you, Mr. Chiao Ni? Question. Comment allez-vous? Response, I'm fine. Réponse, ça va. Question. Have you attended any Question. court proceeding before? Avez-vous déjà participé à un procès? No, not Réponse. in the courtroom itself, mm, but I attended in the public Mais gallery. Déjà, je suis Question. Déjà venu ici How are you feeling today? Question. Comment vous sentez-vous? President. Mr. Lawyer for bon, Civil Monsieur Party, Conseil, the time uh, is well durable. Please go into the substance uh, concerning the facts limited within the proceeding in case 002-01. The floor is, is not given to you just to make a, a chit chat with the Civil Party. We are here to expedite the proceeding in an effective manner as possible as we can. You have asked three questions which are not substantial. Qui ne Thank you, Mr. President, says the lawyer for the party. Before I put questions to you regarding the facts in case 002 stress 01, and if you need to have a glass of water, please feel free to do so. Can I ask a uh, question, Mr. Party? Question. You stated before this chamber that your place of birth was in Kampuchea Krau. When did you come to Phnom Penh? Quand êtes-vous venu à Phnom Penh? Response: I left Kampuchea Krau for Phnom Penh in 1970. Question, what was the reason Question. for traveling to Phnom Penh? Et pourquoi êtes-vous venu à Phnom Penh? Response, the purpose of traveling to Phnom Penh was to become a soldier pour devenir soldat. for the American-backed government. Pour le Question, gouvernement. why did you Appuyé want to do so? Question, et pourquoi vouliez-vous faire cela? Response: Because 
the the soldiers for the American by the government car les soldats de ce gouvernement a lot salary to the part of family bon salaire qui leur permettait de subvenir aux besoins Question, de la did you Question. succeed et êtes-vous parvenu response when i arrived Réponse. in Phnom Penh Quand je suis i tried to enlist myself j'ai essayé de m'enlister brother in law and sister in law did not allow me to join question when you were in Phnom Penh where did you live question quand vous êtes arrivé à Phnom Penh où viviez-vous response in Phnom Penh i lived with my elder sibling j'habitais avec mes autres question was your elder sibling your elder brother question était ce votre frère Yes, my elder brother and my elder sister-in-law. Question: What was his occupation? Did he have any children? Quelle était sa profession? Avait-il des enfants? Réponse. My elder brother, mon frère aîné, was the was a bank officer, a national bank officer. How many children did he have? Response: He had three children. Un officiel President. de la banque. Avait-il des enfants? Lawyer Parce for civil enfants. parties, you Le should président. absorb your knowledge from your other colleagues Conseil, in questioning the uh, civil party, and you should also learn how to pause between the question and answer so that your question and answer will go through the interpretation system into English and French. Question, how many children did your brother and sister have and what were their names? d'enfants votre frère avait-il quels étaient leurs enfants Response. et leurs noms he had three Réponse, children il avait trois enfants the Chao Sun the first Chao one Sun the Lini. second one was Chao Ye Chao Ye and the third one second. was La Pan Benjamin c'était La Pan Thank you Question Je vous remercie In the document the document that we have Dans and Mr. Uh, President, the document is. Mr. President, it's the document. The document is D22 slash 253, and in my is 004-21599-00-2. ซับ 8488998 8488998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998998
on the 17th April 1975. Vous posez des questions à propos d'Albert Einstein. Where were you on that day? Où étiez-vous ce jour-là? Response: I was at my brother's house behind Olympic Market. Réponse: J'étais. Thank you. Question: Chez mon frère, près du marché Olympic. To you and to your family, can you tell the court? Pouvez-vous l'expliquer à la cour ce qui vous est arrivé? Can you also tell the court all the events that you yourself knew? That happened on the 17th April 1975. Ce qui s'est produit, ce que vous avez vu directement en avril 75. Response. Mr. President, on 17 April 1975, which was the victorious day of the Republic of Cambodia, who came to take complete control of Phnom Penh city, that was the time that the Cambodian Phnom Penh residents came to came out to congratulate the victory of the Democratic Cambodia group. Féliciter le groupe du Cambodge démocratique. A lot of people came to greet them. Beaucoup de gens sont descendus dans les routes, dans les rues pour les accueillir. As for my family, we did not go to greet them. Nous ne les avons pas accueillis. Questions. Do you have anything else to add to the event? Question. Avez-vous d'autres choses à ajouter à propos de cet événement? I did not go out to greet them. Je ne suis pas sorti pour souhaiter les bienvenus. Nephews who look after and my elder sibling was unwell. Thank you. How old were your nephews at the time? Quel âge avez vos neveux à ce moment-là? Response. Réponse. Jiao Xuan was seven years old at the time. Jiao Xuan was seven years old. And Jiao Ye was six years old. And La Pang was four years old. Avec quatre ans. Thank you. Question: What happened Question, after merci. 17 April 1975? Response: Réponse. Two or three days after, deux ou trois jours après, a group of Khmer Khmer Rouge soldiers make an announcement asking people to leave Phnom Penh. Un groupe de soldats aux gens qu'ils devaient quitter Phnom Penh. At that time, I heard gunfire. J'ai entendu des des tirs, des coups de feu. I also heard the screaming of people looking for their relatives and friends. J'ai aussi entendu les cris de gens qui cherchaient leurs amis et leurs familles dans les préparatifs pour quitter le pays. 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 They approached the front of my brother's house and shouted that we all had to leave, otherwise we would be bombarded by the Americans. My family was rather late, and then they continued shouting that why we were late. We had to leave quickly, and we only had to leave for three days, so there was no need for us to bring any property or belongings. And after that, they pushed my brother, and I entered the house and made a little pack, a little belonging, and comforting my true nephew. And I did not bring any other property. And then I took my nephew. Then we left with my brother. Moi et nous sommes ensuite partis avec mon frère. Thank you. Question. Question. Can you describe the event of the at the time that you were leaving Phnom Penh on that day? Décrire l'événement en question. My brother and I were leaving Phnom Penh. In anticipation that we were traveling to our native village. At that time, while en route, I observed that there were sick people who failed and 
sitting on the side of the road, there were dead people and nobody could help anybody else. Thank you. Question. Merci. Which road did you travel Question. on Quelle that route day? Ce -là? Response. Réponse. I was heading toward National Road number two. Je me dirigeais par la route numéro deux. That I would uh, head through Kampuchea Kram. L'idée était de me rendre jusqu'au Kampuchea Kram. Question: Did you arrive in your native village? Et êtes vous arrivé dans votre village natal? Êtes vous parvenu à vous y rendre? Response: No, Réponse. I non. did not. Question. Then uh, where did you reach? Question. Où êtes-vous allé donc? Response. We Réponse. walked for about 10 days nous and then we reached Bati district. Nous sommes arrivés dans le district Tropensa de Bati commune in Takeo province. Sat, province de Takeo. Of course, my destination was to return to my native village in Kampuchea Kram. While I arrived at Trapiangsa village, I was told that whoever came from Kampuchea Kram and if we were to reach the border, we would be killed. Question. And then you made a decision to remain in that location. Is that correct? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Effet, I decided to remain in Trapiang Sap de for a few days. Question. Before we Question. go to the event at Trapiang Sap, Avant we would like uh, you to describe to the chamber concerning the evacuation during the first oui, 10 days of your trip. Uh, in the course of the evacuation. Trajet. Please tell the chamber about how you were treated and how Et your family members, including your nephews, uh, were Et given les de votre uh, to eat. Uh, if you don't remember the details, just uh, briefly tell us anything at all si you remember. Response, Council. I don't remember the exact Réponse. days, but uh, I can say briefly Je that ne me pas des the trip uh, took several days. Je peux dire que Question. Thank you. Can you jours. briefly, in a nutshell, tell the chamber? what you remember about the scenes or the events you vous souvenir saw at that time during the evacuation. Vous avez été témoin pendant cette évacuation. Response. We left Phnom Penh Réponse. for Bati village. Nous avons Trop quitté Phnom Penh pour commune. le village de Bati dans la province Life was de very difficult during the course of the evacuation. Et Our young members of the family were not used to going to the countryside or living there. My sister-in-law and Ma other family members had to carry our nephews and nieces, and uh, we could not carry with us any other belongings other than very basic uh, things like clothes, uh, like some pot or sarong. And uh, midway, we could uh, make use of the money, the currency we carried uh, with us to trade in with some goods, for example, food staff. We knew that uh, the food staffs uh, were very expensive, but we had to do our best to make sure that the children, the young people, had something to eat. Question. Just now, you stated that uh, when you reach 
Takao province at Tropensa commune. You were told that if you were the origins, uh, originally from Kampuchi Kram, you would be returned. But that was a trick. If you told them, you would be killed. Who told you about this? Response, I was very fortunate. I don't remember Réponse. those who called, uh, who told me about this. It was my luck. Luck was on my side that I knew this before it was too late. Et je su avant Question. Que ce to the best of your recollection, Question, were those people who told you were new people like you uh, or were the base people? Comme vous, des membres du peuple nouveau, Response. ou plutôt du peuple These de base These people were the base Réponse, people. c'était le peuple de base. Question. I thank you very much, uh, Mr. Subopati and Mr. Merci, President and Monsieur Your Honours. I have no further questions to put to the Subopati, but I would like to cede uh, the floor to my colleague to proceed uh, with further questions. The President Council, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone, good morning. National. It's an Merci honor and a privilege, Mr. Chowney, to be able to lead your evidence today. Bonjour. So far, our co-counsel, Professor Kong Palak, has taken you through what happened uh, just prior to the Khmer Rouge coming to power, as well as the evacuation after 17th April 1975. In response to his earlier questions, you said to him that you were headed towards Kampuche Kram when you stopped in Bati district in Takeo province. Is that correct? Response. Yes, it is. And the reason, one of the reasons that you stopped, as you said earlier, was because someone had advised you that it would not be advisable to continue on to the border or to Kampuche Krom. Is that right? Response. Yes, it is correct. If I were not told about this, I would have already made my trip all the way to the border. Is there anything Question. else that this person told you while you were in Trapiangsap commune? Vous a dit autre chose lorsque vous étiez dans le village de Trapiangsap. Response. Réponse. There was something else. I was also told that uh, as a Khmer Kram, I had to hide my background as a Khmer Kram. Did you know why you had to hide your identity as a Khmer Kram? Response. Because I felt that I would be killed and concealing my identity would spare me from being executed, si and I changed identity, my family name um, uh, also. What did you change your family name to? Question, quel nom de famille avez-vous choisi? Response. Ni is still my um, f first name, but my last Ni name is uh, Lun. I changed from Chao. Mais je so you changed your surname Et from Chao to Chao. Lun. Donc, and as you've told the court today, Chao your full Lun. name is Chao Ni. Is there votre any reason why you changed your surname non, from Chao, Chao to Lun? Uh, Would people have known whether this was Kamai Kram? Votre nom de famille était identifiable en tant que euh, nom euh, Khmer Krom. Réponse. 
Yes, uh, they would uh, because oui. the Khmer Crown people share different family names. Uh, people from Mot Chuk uh, province uh, would uh, have uh, Chao as the uh, family name, le and le people Chao. from Krom Mun Sa would uh, use Tang as the family name, and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, people from different province uh, of uh, Kampuchea Kram would have different family names and c they can be identified uh, according to these different uh, identification. Thank you, Mr. Chowney. So you've told us so far that for the time that you were in Trapeng Sap, you concealed your identity and your family's identity as being Kamai Kram. But did the base people who lived there originally know that you and your family were new? Response. Uh, those uh, base people regarded me as the 17 of April people only. They didn't mention my name. And apart from your family, were there other people who were 17th of April people who were there in Trapeng Sap? Response. Yes, there were. There were quite a lot of 17 of April people, including my family. And how were you and your family and the other 17th of April people treated by the base people living there in Trapeng Sap? Response. We were not treated equally. We were not uh, talked to nicely. We were regarded as the imperialists, or rather the capitalists. Uh, they, we rega uh, they regarded us as those who ripped of the benefit of the peasants, and uh, this kind of language was very often used uh, against us. For the time that you lived with your family in Trapeng Sap, how did you and your family survive? Because there were three young children and your elder brother and his wife. How did you survive for food and water? Response. Immediately after the evacuation and upon arriving at the place about a month after that, uh, we did not have anything to do yet. Uh, we came with us, uh, uh, we came with some belongings, some food staff, and uh, we had to be moved from one place to another. And uh, we reached a, a location where there were rail tracks, and we had to head on through the rail tracks. So you've just mentioned to us that you went to a destination where there was rail tracks? Just bringing you back for a moment, Mr. Chowney, to Trapeng Sap. While you were living there, what were your living conditions in Trapeng Sap, in Takeo, in Bati district like? Response. People at the base did not pay attention to the new people or the 17th mm, of April people like us. And the situation was too difficult for us to continue living there and we had to do our best to move out from the location. So how long were you actually staying in Trapeng Sap? Commune? In Takeo? Response. 
réponse. We were there for a few days only. Nous y sommes restés about quelques jours ten seulement. A month, ten days to a month. Entre une dizaine de jours et un mois. And when you left Trapeza, did you leave together with your family as well? Êtes-vous parti avec le reste de votre famille? Response: Yes, uh, we did. Uh, we left uh, the location all together with the whole family and a few other. 17 of April people. So when you left with your family and other 17th of April people from Trapeza because of what the base people had said to you, where were you going towards? Was it towards Kampuche Kram again? Response. Allow me to elaborate on this. After coming from Kampuchea Kram, I went all the way to Phnom Penh. But when I went to Tropeang Sap, I did not know where else I should go. Uh, having noted the rail tracks, I just uh, took the advantage of the rail tracks. I mean, going along the rail track to other destinations without knowing where. So, to clarify again, for the benefit of the chamber, Mr. Chowney, Are you saying Monsieur that Chaoui. you knew National Road 2 because you had originally come from Kampuchea Kram to Phnom Penh uh, earlier, but at this time uh, when you were leaving Trapeng Sap Pen, to go back to Phnom Penh, you were not using that route and you were going wherever you could go with, together with your family. Is that right? Uh, Response, yes, it is correct. Réponse, oui, ça. So on this journey, when you had Question. left Trapeng Sap together with your family and other 17th of April people, how did you survive? Because you said you had only the foodstuffs that you had brought from your house. So how did you and your family survive when you were moving all over Alors, when you left Trapeng Sap? Response. During the first uh, few months, uh, we did not work, but we had to exchange our belongings uh, for some food. Indeed, uh, the belongings uh, could help us uh, exchange uh, uh, with the food, uh, and we could survive on that. How did this affect your family? especially the young children who were four, seven, and six years old. Response. There was a great impact on my family. It was a very difficult time. Une It was très the rainy season and my younger members of the family and us had to be exposed uh, to the wind and the rain in the open and uh, it was miserable. As you went from place to place, Question. finding wherever you could to get food and clothing, earlier you told us you came across a railway track. Is that correct? Response. Yes, it is. Um, we found uh, the railway track. And did you and your family Question. start following the railway track, walking back towards Phnom Penh? Vous avez à suivre le chemin de fer en direction de Phnom Penh avec votre famille? Response. 
How about time? I discussed this with my family, in particular my brother and sister-in-law, that we would have to come back to Phnom Penh. As you were walking together with your family along this railway track towards Phnom Penh from Takeo area, were there other people also walking with you? Or was it only your family? Uh, Response. Response. There were other people as well. We were joined by other families. And these other families, were they also 17 April people? Response. It is not easy to tell whether these people were purely the 17th of April people or we were joined by some of the base people as well. And as you were walking, along the railway tracks towards Phnom Penh. Can you describe the conditions for you and your family? How were you able to have food and water and new clothing as you were making your way towards Phnom Penh along the railway track? Response. As I already stated uh, earlier on, we did not start uh, working. We only made uh, use of the possession, the, the belongings that we could carry along with us to trade for food or for something that could keep us uh, alive. And we were not yet uh, placed in any of the cooperatives as yet. Did you manage to reach Phnom Penh as you were walking along this railway track? Response. No, uh, we didn't. And why weren't you able to proceed towards Phnom Penh? Were you stopped? Vous a-t-on empêché de le faire? Response. Réponse. Well, we had to observe some rests uh, and uh, we stopped at uh, some places. Beaucoup, I don't nous, remember, nous but we had to stop on several uh, at several locations, although we knew that uh, we were reprises. coming. Uh, to the Phnom Penh direction. And as your family and you and the other people were walking towards Phnom Penh, were you ever stopped by any members of the militia, the Khmer Rouge militia? Response. On this long journey along the rail tracks, we long were met long by some people fer. who were wearing Pendant black temps, clothes with scarf. Des qui we did not know whether they were soldiers or militia, but we were nous ne savions pas si c'était des milices ou des soldats. Stop. Uh, for example, we were stopped to take some rest or we were stopped uh, and asked not to move forward. Pour se uh, we were met by these people on several occasions. Donc, effet, ces nous ont Could you describe the clothing of the militia who met you Question as well as whether, they not, whether or not they had weapons with them? Les milices Response. Réponse. These 
militiamen were wearing black clothes les with some scarves les de, de, de and de they were wearing the sandal made of car tire and they were mentioning about the 17th of April people telling us to be relocated to other locations and uh, they did not allow us to stop at one place for long so we had to be uh, moving all along and we did not know where we would be heading to at any time did this militia stop you and ask you to get onto a train question est-ce que à quelconque moment ces milices vous ont-ils demandé de monter à bord d'un train Response. After a long walk, we were stopped Après by some militia and the, a few days later, there was a train coming by and we, at that time, were forced to board the train. So, Mr. Chowney, so far you've told us that there was a very long journey that you and your family have been walking and staying at different places for a long time. So you don't have to tell the court the exact date, but for the benefit of the court, could you say roughly when was the time period? Was it late 1975 or 1976? when you were forced to board on this train that you have just described. Response. When we boarded on the train, I cannot remember the exact date, but it was, uh, it took us about one day before we reached uh, Mong Rusei train station in Badambong province. Before we speak about what happened in Mong Rusei in Batambang province, let's come back a little bit so you can tell the court about that incident when you and your family were forced onto the train. Could you describe that situation? And were you ever given a choice by the Khmer Rouge militia to continue walking? Did, could you have a choice to say no? Or did you have to board that train? Response. At that time, no one could uh, resist uh, such order by the militia. And how many militia people met you and your family and others and forced you to go on the train? Ces milices vous ont donc forcé à monter à bord du train, vous, votre famille et les autres personnes qui étaient avec vous. Response. There were about ten Réponse. people, ten of them, who forced Ils us onto the train, and they were all armed. Dans le train. Ils tous armés. Apart from your family Question. and yourself, how many of the other people who were walking Votre with you were also forced même, onto the train, roughly? Personnes, parmi ceux qui vous accompagnaient, ont été forcés à monter sur le train? Response. Réponse. There were a lot of people who were forced onto the train because when the train was coming to the station, it was already packed uh, with other passengers already. And where was the station where you were forced to go on to the train? 
While you were saying you had moved away from Takeo, you hadn't reached Phnom Penh yet, was this in Kandal area or other provinces? Did you know where you were forced to go on the train? Response. I don't remember the exact location where we boarded uh, on that train because uh, we never been in that location before and I don't remember quite well where it was. On the train itself, were there other Khmer Rouge militia? Response, yes. There were some Khmer Rouge soldiers uh, who were escorting the train. And did they give you any food or water, or your family, or the other people? Were they given any food or water on the train? Response. No, we weren't. No. And on the train, were you allowed to talk to other people? Vous êtes autorisé à parler à d'autres gens. Response. Réponse. Yes, we were, but only oui. to the people who were sitting or uh, standing close to us. And on the train, did they tell you the destination? Where were you going? Response, no, they didn't. They didn't tell us where we would be heading to. Can you describe how you and your family felt at this time? having been forced onto the train and not knowing where you were going. À ce moment-là, après avoir été forcé avec, avec votre famille à monter dans ce train sans connaître la destination. Response. Uh, Réponse. I'm afraid uh, I cannot uh, get your question clearly. Please uh, repeat it. So, bon. Allow me to repeat my question. So my question was, you have told us so far that you were on the train, you were not given any food or water, and you were not told where you were going. How did you and your family feel? Were you afraid? Did you have any worries? Response. When boarding the train, the feeling was mixed. Uh, we did not know whether we would be sent uh, to be executed, uh, but it was an order by the militia, and we had to board on the train, although we know that uh, we would be destined uh, for death. And please tell the court, what happened when you finally arrived in Mongrusei district in Batambang? Response. When we got to Mongrusei district and when we uh, get, got off uh, the train, we were already received, awaited by some people Et on some ox camps where we would be taken to some cooperatives. And can you remember the name of the cooperative that you were taken to? And were you taken together with your family? Response. 
We were taken by the ox cart uh, to the cooperative. At the beginning, I did not know the exact name of the cooperative nor the location where we were taken to. However, a few days later, we heard people talking about this. Uh, they represented themselves as the people in charge of Ta Hoi Cooperative. So I knew that it was Ta Hoi Cooperative. Before we come to Ta Hoi, can you describe the living conditions in this cooperative for you and your family? Response. After people were brought to the cooperative by the Oscars, at the beginning there were a lot of people. Houses, the shack houses were built to receive the newcomers. My family and my elder brother and in-law would uh, be allowed to stay in the same house uh, as uh, the others. And at that moment, uh, we know that the property was located in Chok Thum, in the Montrussey area of Batambang. And when you were in the cooperative with your family, and were there many other people who were also there in that cooperative, Chaktom? Response. Rather, uh, the, the president, uh, uh, Civil Party, please hold on. Counsel for Mr. Yang Seri, you may proceed. Counsel Ang Odam. Mr. President, according to document E124, point number 7, cooperative is not part of the matter to be discussed during these uh, proceedings. As yet, I would like to take issue with the line of questioning concerning this uh, fact, which is not relevant now. Mr. President, Your Honours, if I may just respond. We aren't going so much into the strictures or the specifics of the cooperative as much as we are speaking about what happened in the context of forced transfer to where Mr. Chowney has just mentioned that he was forced on a train and headed through the railway unit to Batambong where he was received by Khmer Rouge militia. If I may proceed, Your Honours. The President, uh, indeed the objection is not sustained, uh, you may proceed. And Civil Party is instructed to respond to the question. We know that the question is not uh, about the structure of the cooperative, and it is, uh, it is about the impact of the evacuation, the immediate evacuation of the second phase about the life, uh, living condition or how people were treated uh, upon arriving at the cooperative. So the chamber notes that such question is appropriate and that it should be um, proceeded. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours. Mr. Chowney, if I may just repeat my question. For, for clarification's sake. So my question was, while you were in Montreuil district and you and your family and others were in Chaktom, can you describe to the court your living conditions as well as the food and any other medicine that was given to you and your family? Response. At the Chok Thum cooperative, immediately upon arriving the cooperative, we were not given enough food. 
tout de suite euh, dès notre arrivée nous n'avons pas reçu assez de nourriture thin gruel. nous avions droit à un gruau très and, clair uh, we were treated as the newcomers Et with nous étions traités very small bowl of thin gruel nouveaux arrivants and each petit bowl family de member de would also soupe. be offered the same the food was very insufficient n'était pas assez de nourriture a few months quelques mois at the cooperative my tard, nephews became seriously ill and there was no medicine available chao soon got a diarrhea chao soon and Uh, when Chao Soon's father Chao uh, Soon got a sweet corn uh, and du maïs. Uh, then he offered it to Chao Soon. Chao Et Soon got a diarrhea. Donc, he Chao ate Soon the sweet corn, but then all the same maïs. corn had, uh, you know, passed out, and uh, he had to really make use of his feces with the corn again. He, he ate his own Il a dû excrement. Il a mangé le, le maïs, Mr. Chowney, euh, qui Before we go further about the direct impact that your family suffered, which is terrible. Question. Can you tell us more about how many people were held in this Chak Tom cooperative? Was it crowded? And were they generally all new people? 17 April people? Response. At first, uh, there were a lot of people. The cooperative was very crowded, but I can't estimate how many people there were, although there were a lot. And were many of these people 17th of April people? Et la plupart de ces gens étaient-ils des membres du peuple du 17 avril? Response. Réponse. I cannot say whether all the people were surely 17th of April people or avril, mixed with other local people because we were not allowed to talk to one another to know about this. The president intervenes. Uh, Since it is Question. now appropriate time for lunch adjournment council and the civil uh, party, we may now adjourn for lunch and the next session Nous will be resumed by 1.30 p.m. Court officer is now instructed to assist uh, the civil party during the adjournment and uh, have him return to the courtroom when we resume, which is 1.30 p.m. A counsel for Mr. Nunchia, you are on your feet. Uh, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I had a discussion with my client at the Monsieur coffee le break this morning, and he indeed informed me that he was already suffering from a headache, a backache, and a lack of concentration. Of concentration. Perhaps your honors noticed that uh, at approximately 10 to 10 this morning, the doctor came over to examine Nunchia. He had been sleeping, and we were concerned that, that uh, well, we had no idea why he was sleeping, and we thought the doctor should have a look at him. I should also note for the record that he has been sleeping for the last half an hour or so, if not more, so he has not been following or participating effectively in any sense in the proceedings this morning. Uh, we would make our, our habitual application that he be permitted to spend the afternoon in the holding cell, and also we would ask that he be examined by the doctor over the lunch break to see if there is indeed any special problem today, or additional problem, I should say. Thank you. Those are our two applications. Thank you. President, the chamber notes the request uh, of Mr. Nunchia by his counsel, in which he has uh, asked that he be excused from this courtroom.
and be allowed to retire until he's holding his cell se retirer du prétoire et suivre les débats depuis la sécurisation temporaire pour des raisons de santé. And uh, there is an additional request also that uh, the treating doctor be asked in order to inspect or examine Mr. Nguyen's health condition during the lunch adjournment. The chamber also notes that the requests are appropriate. And Mr. Nuntier is now allowed to observe the proceedings Les from his holding cell downstairs through audiovisual for the remainder of the day. Mr. Nuntier has expressly waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The chamber would like a counsel for Mr. Nuntier to produce the waiver given some print or signed by Mr. Nuntier in due course. Document par lequel l'accusé renonce à pouvoir participer directement. Et les officiers sont maintenant instructés de s'assurer que M. Nunez's holding cell est correctement connecté à l'audiovisuel équipement pour qu'il puisse observer les procédures de là. And a treating doctor is now Et instructed to conduct a medical examination on Mr. Nunez during this. Adjournment and the doctor is advised to report to the chamber through the greffier of the trial chamber before the next session resumes. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and kill some pawn to the rather to their respective holding cell, and that Mr. Nunchi. Uh, will be et there in the holding cell to observe the proceeding. Juan Kilson Pond will have to be returned to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned.